you may be in your little room my brothers and sisters whereas god is building the estate in your mind and you think you are not making progress listen to me please look up anything you hold physically that was not built there you only held a rubber ring it will return it must live your life herein lies the fallacy of living a fake life because you are only wasting your time there must be a registration of that possibility in your mind this is not metaphysics this is not christian science this is the principle of the kingdom so while you are in your room your mind is building the church the members are coming the crusades are happening and you are dreaming with god in your room and it looks like you see this is where ignorant people who are not of the faith will look at you and say you are not making progress in your life what kind of person are you you are not moving and you say i may not be moving but i'm building building you've been in abuja for two years you are not doing anything and god says you really think you are not doing anything you are building a mall in your mind every time you study those materials an expansion is happening listen i give you a guarantee in the name of honesty whatever is built here will be built please sit down let's help ourselves to rise intentionally so that we can defend what happens to us it is true that is the grace of god but when you are blessed we will not speak like foolish people if you know how god brings the blessings upon you you will be able to help others rise that's why stealing and looting is a terrible way to becoming wealthy because there is no pathway to mentor another person into it are we together verse 6 please give us verse 6 media help us now watch this the lord said behold please look up please the people is one who is speaking now your god and they all have one language and this they begin to do now physically they have finished it in the realm of the spirit they are about to start it and hear the testimony that god is giving about men who have built he says and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined please sit down these guys were not born again these guys did not have the advantage of the holy spirit this is fallen man when god tells you nothing can restrain a man he would have searched by his intelligence what can restrain these people and you're standing here only because ephesians chapter 3 the law of mental transformation blessed be the name of the lord and verse 20 please let's hurry up so that we can cover much tonight before we pray god is changing someone's life please look up can you read it with me it's projected ready one to read now unto him that is able to do exceeding read on abundance all we ask or think according to the power that works in us please keep that scripture there you would have heard me make this example again and again if i say sit here or here it means either places have equal value are we correct now sit here or here drop your prayer request here or here it means that one does not seem to have any advantage above another and the bible says that god can do what we ask and can do what we think not ask and think that means there are two prayer warriors in your life your mouth and your mind they are both praying please sit down sit down while your mouth is confessing lord lift me your mind is saying lord forget about what i just said and the bible says that god is able to do the requests that come from your speaking and the request that comes from your thinking 
look at me so could your situation today be an answered prayer could it be the prayer request your mind prayed and your mind said forget about all the shouting i shouted in church lord just my current desire is that i remain poor the bible says god is able to do exceeding africa we are a people of prayer i'm a person of prayer we are a people who love god but we have trained the prayer request the prayer warrior that speaks and starved the prayer warrior that thinks this is only the first law the law apostle if all i have is capital and a little shop i know i will be okay <laughs> it's a very very sociological very empathetic disposition but you will never rise that way the law of mental transformation the lamb was slain twice according to scripture number one he was slain from the foundations of the earth number two he was slain in his lifetime please look at me if you can show me what you are building with the holy spirit i show you something that no power in existence will ever be able to stop growing up years ago pastor the hand of god will come upon me and i will run to the back of our house somewhere there and i will just hold the mic and i'm preaching i'm preaching all to myself and sweating and the anointing of the holy spirit is upon me and i'm seeing people and i'm going i'm laying hands on benches and i didn't know i was building let me tell you this that's why when god wants to help you he will allow you go to bed then he will take part of your future and plant it you are supposed to incubate what you just saw you went to bed suddenly you are in a crusade ground you are standing before thousands of people you are ministering under a strange influence of the spirit you get up and you just laugh it away and say man must work and we begin some of these things that we do and you stifle something that would have been the foundation of a great destiny your mind so the bible says guard your heart with all diligence you see the reason why watching nonsense exposing i say this respectfully and and god sees my heart i say it from a standpoint of love but our generation especially our generation of young people were in trouble our minds are already programmed to fail the addictiveness of social media when not guarded is why many people are dull today you notice their their iq has gone down naturally the concentration span of the average young man is not more than two minutes after two minutes they are distracted because they have been rewired to make sure you are checking something every minute so the sense of focus to learn is no longer there that includes hearing from god is why we hear truth plus nonsense and join it together and call it revelation because it takes time are we blessed i hope you still love me the law of mental transformation there's too much noise in our world there's too much distraction the average person cannot start a task and finish it in 30 minutes you start a task and after two hours you are watching a movie you are doing something these things are i'm telling you the level of distraction is why our pockets continue to remain empty you called it a shift mental transformation the bible says by the truth 
then he says in philippians chapter 2 and verse 5 that you permit this mind to be in you that means there was a belief system there was a construction of understanding that made the holy spirit comfortable in jesus it was not just because he was the son of god he says to let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus jesus was not just the word who became flesh the spirit inside a body he had a mind at age 12 when his colleagues were playing he was in the temple building the construction the belief construction that will allow the holy spirit to be comfortable and theologically speaking for 18 years we do not hear anything about jesus again the next time he shows up he's 30 years he's not just a handsome young man ready to start ministry he's a young man who had taken the word into the world and had now become ready when satan came he said it is written subconsciously just came out ask anybody who prospered intentionally they will tell you neglecting your understanding and your paradigm is a recipe it will veto any kind of hard work and insist that you return to your past You have sown seeds i honor you for the seeds you have sown but i will not lie to you if your mind is not transformed transformation does not mean another information transformation means the superior information the requisite body of knowledge allocated for the result you desire not just random acquisition of information are we blessed the law of mental transformation our ideologies and our paradigms will continue to program failure or program greatness now watch this we live in a generation where there is there is this itch and this appetite to show that we are making progress and i'm saying this respectfully is that true everybody wants to know that you are making progress so you have to make sure you dress well you have to make sure if the designers are there everything is fit but the problem there is that when you acquire things physically that your mind did not give birth to you ign you know a danger light a danger light sounds in the realm of the spirit and your mind interprets that breakthrough as a mistake it will alter itself to make sure that which you have leaves you and then it rests because you are now in your default state please understand what i'm sharing with you pastor sir if you carry one of your nice shirts and you give a young one of these uh, boys that drive truck or move around he would take it and say god bless you sir and wear it notice what will start happening to that shirt a shirt you wore for two years and it's still looking like it's new now the guy wears it and after one month it starts to tear mysteriously it starts to fade the shirt is not tearing the shirt is revealing the mindset of the wearer Please understand what i'm telling you please sit down sit down i want to share with you a principle now even if i'm not able to cover the remaining things if you learn this your life will change don't assume you know what i'm saying just pay attention and listen are we together look at me your physical environment is only a mirror it's a mirror of what is happening in your mind anything you get physically that was not gotten here destiny the laws of god will treat it as an error and it will insist that it leaves you this is the fallacy this is why just prophesying to people alone to be blessed will not bring them into sustainable blessings because you can take advantage of the power of the prophetic and program possibilities and they now receive it but it's coming upon a mind that is not transformed the same law of god will interpret it as an error and will cause that breakthrough to vanish and the person returns back to his yesterday 
now listen your mindset is the only authorized channel for both god and satan to come into your space mindsets are doorways they are not like doorways they literally are doorways are we blessed no matter what your background is please listen to me no matter what your background is you can transit yourself we have to be very honest with ourselves thank you jesus the transformation that happens to you so living a fake life is a dangerous way of punishing yourself because you're going to continue to recycle pain you will keep acquiring things that will only be short-lived there are people who buy cars the car is not here so the 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 discipline and the management system of responsibility that should be inculcated that makes having a car a blessing is not here so you have the car and your carelessness of that pedestrian type lifestyle is now punishing that blessing that god brings so you find out that you can't service it you can't wash it you can't clean it in two weeks your breakthrough has become like you you can get a job and your mindset will make will alter your behavior and make things go bad you can cast and bind and hate the people go to another place there are there are people who sustain understandings that can never bring destiny helpers to them you have not sustained the mindset that acknowledges and and brings honor you have not sustained the mindset that that acknowledges the sacrifices of great people you still have an understanding that trivializes greatness when you see great people you assume it was luck that kind of mindset because Comes repulsive to anything good you see any rich man you say look at these thieves they are carrying our jeep and you don't know that this honor closes that door whereas you secretly want a jeep in your heart you see a man of god who is anointed and he say he just got an impartation he says nothing what is there is god that imparts why don't you have it now i hope you understand i'm not being hard on you i'm stretching you for a reason we live in a society that has no regard for the sacrifices of people you see a great man a millionaire man who tells you he was born in one room and you just believe he was just lucky so the day god brings you to meet him that disposition of dishonor becomes pungent for any profitable relationship there are people who the lifespan of their relationship is two weeks something about their minds must kill good things it's not just to pray and say oh god bring a destiny helper bring a life partner bring a, a, what they call it a business partner and all of this kind. we only make a fool out of ourselves until your mindset is ready it becomes a waste for good things to come to you you move mountains you cause walls to fall with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible and we're rising here only because you may listen it is not just because there was a curse in your family the curse does not work automatically the curse is mindset activated so it depends on the requisite level this is what strongholds are all about strongholds are demonic fortifications around a thinking pattern that insists that the victim continues to think that way it is the state that makes the word of god of non-effect so it's not just that even if you come to the devil and say satan i donate myself he said i can't use you the way you are i need to program an understanding in you that makes my using you profitable you know we make it look like the devil just
look up please please take seriously what i'm saying if you ever stop thinking about yourself start thinking about your children it will bring back your concentration to listen seriously to what we're saying apostle nothing is working in my family i agree and the reason is because there is a cause somewhere i may not disagree but that cause and that yoke needs an atmosphere it needs a mindset it needs a belief system the day the belief system is deconstructed it's called deliverance by transformation the messianic prophecy luke chapter 4 jesus took the scroll he said to preach deliverance not only to conduct it to preach are we blessed the law of mental transformation I want to act out something right now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying that we will never forget this for the rest of our lives Amen. let me show you how success happens first and foremost I want you to write success is not a product of what you do alone success happens as a reflection of who you are becoming success happens more because of who you are becoming than what you are doing please understand this true success lasting success transgenerational success is not just a product of what you do it's a product of who you are are we blessed okay um let me use maybe the let me have some gentlemen not our guest here I want about eight of you don't run from the crowd please just you just sit there members of this church any eight gentlemen please come let's celebrate them as they come anybody if we don't have any you can yes just just pick a few people please come eight of you stand facing me please four of you here four of you here watch this the Lord gave me this revelation last year and it blessed me one more person please thank you thank you sirs thank you very much it's my prayer that you will never forget what you are acting in the name of jesus now watch this please look up this is success every one of these people let them represent faces of life and levels are we together are we together please the transforming church are we together now watch this there is a law that god himself put on earth in his dealings with men please watch this the possibilities that we command are a reflection of the realms that we are in mentally speaking first spiritually speaking but mentally speaking all of these dimensions have their blessings attached to it is that all right now watch this everybody watch this don't mind all my acting I'm, I'm insisting that you must understand this is why watch this all of you lift what you're holding please now i am here let's call this level zero please look at this and yet i covet that blessing is everybody seeing it now i covet that man's blessing so by living a fake life i quickly go and get it or they dash me the law immediately detects that there is a problem because i did not grow to the realm that makes this happen this thing will reject me and go back it will bring me back to this realm because i did not grow into that success at this realm watch this i don't have a car i don't have a house i'm in one small room are you getting what i'm saying now this is the realm where you have estates this is the realm where you command the wealth of nations so god speaks to you i will take you far like abraham are we together now genesis 28 if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that i command you this day then i will set you on high above the nations of the earth and this blessing will come upon you and overtake you so you are here you are hearing this now what many believers do is to continue to to falsely believe and dream 
and do all kinds of superstitious things in hope that they will reach there the key to getting all this is not looking for them one by one god already saved you that stress because you don't even know some of the things you need the key is to grow now watch this as you grow this is what i want you to do please dress back a little guys for every step i take come towards me too are we ready watch this so i'm studying and i'm praying in my room watch what is happening to me i'm growing mentally these are the things i want and while that is happening i'm still broke when i grow to this level watch this someone now says man of god the lord led me to sow ten thousand now watch this i thought i just entered it you would notice that you come to a realm where people never sow more than ten thousand ten thousand five thousand but at least something is happening i'm growing then i look at great people like papa Ia deboe for it do you know watch this if papa Ia deboe if you see him in a restaurant now trying to get food his realm will fight that result are you seeing that now you will come to him quickly and say daddy no please go back home why are you doing that because a level of transformation and the sacrifice that result is an insult to that realm if papa deboe stands in this church now and says brethren i don't have a vehicle before he finishes before he spells vehicle there will be more cars outside than he needs it's not just because he's anointed the realm of growth necessitates you can't be in this realm without a car no matter how modest you are please sit down now instead of watch this instead of sitting here and dreaming of cars and say i must get a car i must get a media interview is here the media interview is in this realm is there so this is what you do while you are growing you are studying you are sitting under a pastor you are growing you are growing you are growing you start seeing results now watch this notice you know you are changing because what you have starts running away from you your one room starts pushing you out of it into a two-bedroom flat it has nothing to do with being humble it's a law no matter how modest you are you grow to a point where that space starts fighting you notice as you grow certain friends that you have it's not whether you want to fight them or not it's not whether they are good or you are good or not the reality of your growth does not allow that kind of company again one by one your contact starts changing notice look at me many of you today you cannot tell me where your first phone is remember you didn't throw it remember you didn't give it so it was a living thing when you grew beyond 3310 it left and gave room for another one to come listen true prosperity is prosperity through growth please let's go back god is showing you your mental state now oh god this is 2020 will my life change god says it depends on you last year they spoke over my life but it did not change this is what prophecy did prophecy pushed you but your lack of transformation reversed you and brought you back instead of living a fake life someone here is going to say lord all these things are in abuja and it is true that the word has come from my pastor but i will pay the price to grow for step by step you lead me and i will follow you all of my days listen once upon in my life as a man of god i would go to preach somewhere you've heard me say it and that was my level of transformation i was anointed but it would be an error to be at this realm with that mindset listen your future 
is looking for you but you've heard me say it's not looking for this version of you so when your future comes he says you are not there because the version it was authorized to bless your prosperity keeps visiting you every day but it does not find you because the version of you it was authorized to bless you have not become it the gulf is in your destiny the jeep is in your destiny but every time the jeep visits you it is prohibited from resting upon you because you have not grown to a level where a jeep becomes fair to live with you you can fake it and save and buy you will pay the price and lose it in three in three there are people who should not have anything to do with a business class in the name of honesty you have not transited to that level when you sit there you feel guilty you feel unfair you know you have not grown to that level now please sit down i need to say this because sometimes we act faith is not foolishness we are people of faith but be honest to grow honorably you may be here now you can do your quiet road transport tomorrow you will go to the park and pay for four seats you are still in the park but you are paying for four seats you are growing next time you will take a cab from the park you are growing is that true next time you will now have the luxury to have a driver and a golf that will be taking you every time one time if you refuse to buy a car the ram god's justice system will force someone to give you